Hello, sweet family. How are you all doing? Today, we are going to be making delicious meat pie. And if you want to know how this is made, then stay with me to the end of this video. So for my ingredient, I'm using cabbage, carrot, onion, and green pepper. And I'm be slicing my cabbage into smaller pieces. You can also just cut them into any shape and size that you prefer. And after that, I'm just going to chop my onions also. And I'm chopping this onion into very, very tiny pieces. After chopping in my onion, I'll be chopping the green pepper also. And for the carrot, I'm just going to grate my carrot. And you can also chop the carrot into any size uh, shapes that you want. But for me, I'm just going to be grating. Because I like to see them very, very tiny in my pie. So I'm down now. I'm going to just grate my carrots. You can see I'm using the bigger part. And that's it. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So here I have my mixed meat, which I'm going to be using also. And in my saucepan, I just add just a little bit of oil. And then add in the mixed meat. Stir fry this for about one minute. And then you can go ahead and add in your chopped veggies. So here I just added the onion and the green pepper. And then I'm going to add the carrot. And I'm just going to stir fry this for about 30 seconds before adding in my sliced cabbage. So excuse my lightning, I'm using natural light, so the sun keep on going off and on, off and on. So at this point, I just added just a tablespoon of salt. You can go ahead and add more spice or more ingredients if you so wish. And here I just added, uh, this is just a teaspoon of all pepper flour that I mix with water, just to keep this uh, the feelings very moist and soft you don't want to get uh, dry feelings inside your meat pie or you don't want your pie to look very very dry so i just measure about five cups of all-purpose flour and then i grated some nutmeg and then add a teaspoon of baking powder and for my five cups of all-purpose flour i'm using just about half cup of margarine you can use any amount that you want and this is how i do my pie i pick the dough or the mixture and rub them together with my two hands and this keep the texture of the pie very very soft and moist you don't need to use a lot of margarine or butter to make your meat pie look very rich And this is the bowl that I'm using to get the shape that I want. And then just add in my filling. Close it and then just use your fingertips to close it perfectly together. And then I'm going to be using the tips of my fork to seal in to make sure that the meat doesn't get out or the fillings that it come out and i'm going to be repeating this process until i am done and you can see this is looking absolutely delicious even though we have not baked it yet but looking at it alone can tell you how nice and crispy and soft and how moist the inside is going to look like So to all my subscribers, I want to say a very, very big thank you. Thank you all for keep, uh, keep coming to my channel. And if today is the first time, you are highly welcome. I really do appreciate all of you. I appreciate all of you for your support. 
For, for my brushing, I'm going to be using just two tablespoons of milk and then one egg yolk. You can use only milk or you can use only egg, but I like to mix both the milk and the egg yolk together. This keeps the meat pie very, very nicely soft. And I just brush it. And that's it. I'm going to be baking this in the oven on a medium heat. You don't want to make your fire too high because you don't want to make burnt meat pie. And I'm going to be placing this in the oven. And here we are. You can see how beautifully this is looking. And you can have this with your morning coffee, your tea. You can have this with any minerals. And if you have mortar guineas or malt, any malt at all goes well with this meat pie. And you can see all was well baked and the down both the the back and the down is well baked and it's not looking bent and you can see the inside is very very moist this meat pie looks very very soft and crispy and this is just perfect the way i want it so i hope you guys find this helpful and you find it interesting please do not forget to subscribe share comment and i'm going to be leaving the list of the ingredients in the description box below and hope to see you all in my next video please do not forget to subscribe